the fire and water cooking channel. I'm Darren and today I'm going to do something a little different. I've cooked um, plenty of pork butts in my time and there's a couple videos on here of me cooking pork butts, sous vide and barbecue and combining the two uh, and doing a comparison. What I'm going to do today, um, somebody posted on one of the other Facebook groups that I'm in, one of the barbecue ones, asking if um, anybody's ever injected their pork butts and specifically asked if they injected them with bacon grease. So that kind of intrigued me. So um, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video today showing that. I don't hardly ever inject my pork butts. Um, I do sometimes when I'm going to be making like Cuban style or Spanish style pork butt. And that's what I'm going to kind of do today. I'm going to inject this pork butt. It's about a 10 pound pork butt. I trimmed most of the this fat one we're cap off. We're going to it for 24 hours at 160 degrees and then tomorrow we're going to throw it on the Camp Chef pellet smoker to finish it off. But I am going to inject it first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject it with some lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, apple juice, a little bit of um, chicken broth, uh, some fresh lime juice, and then a little bit of this bacon fat. And then we're going to uh, rub it down with a lemon pepper rub that I just uh, created with uh, run and wild lemon pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, <clears throat> a little um, kosher salt, and that's it. I'm going to put the uh, all the ingredients down below in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, injection ready, and I'm going to inject it with my um, stainless steel okay, injector here. We've got our injection already, and I've got it all stirred up pretty good with the uh, whisk and I'm gonna go ahead see if we even get much of that fat in here anyway because it's gonna mostly float on top so I'm gonna try to skim the top of this and get some of that in there so I'm just gonna kind of put it in as deep as I can just gonna pull it out a little at a time and just press it a little bit in there that's the one of the things I love about cooking is you can always try and you can experiment and try new things. See what you like best. It smells, the marinade smells really good though. That bacon fat uh, mixed in with the lemon, lime, and apple, it smells really good. All right, I got the uh, pork butt all ru or, uh, injected. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my we are rub. Going to apply this rub all over and we'll probably put a little bit more on after it comes out of the sous vide bag but I'm going to get as much on here as possible and that's it we're just going to get a nice even coat all around got the sides both sides and then I got my expanded vacuum sealer bag that we're going to put this in and then we're going to get it in the sous vide bath and that's all ready to go so I'll be okay, right back. Okay I got it all rubbed down, injected, thrown in the vacuum bag. Remember on these expanded vacuum bags because there is that big pleat here I always triple so seal I make these. sure that this really thick uh, pleats in this bag get sealed so always double triple even quadruple seal it if you want. It doesn't cost anything to press that seal button again so all right I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the water and I will see you guys. sous vide and it's pretty much done I can feel a bone coming out there is plenty of juice left in this bag and what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna save some of this juice and I'm gonna put the pork on top of this rack on this cookie sheet here and we're going to put some of the juice in the bottom because I want that to um, keep it keep it moist in the uh, grill when we throw it in there just to uh, give it a give it a little bit more moisture in the cooker so I've got my camp chef pellet grill I got it on the high smoke setting, so it's sitting right around 225. That's where it's going to sit. 
And we're going to go ahead and get this out of the bag, and then we're going to throw it on. Guys, I pulled the pork right out back. of the bag, and I'm getting ready to throw it on the grill. So I mixed up a little bit more of the rub. I'm just going to put a little bit more on so that we can uh, get a little bit more flavor to it, because a lot of it has kind of came off in the bag since there was a lot of juice. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit more of this rub on, and then we're going to throw it on the grill for about two hours or so to get some bark to it. All right. been in there just about two hours and right around 225 230 on the pellet grill and um, smells wonderful it doesn't have a whole lot of smoke to it and I didn't want it to um, but it is very tender I'm just going to kind of show you how just by cutting into it here and just kind of pulling it apart like I said it's not barbecued pulled pork it's uh, more of a Spanish type uh, pork roast I could shred this if I wanted to, but I'm not really wanting to, but um, it is very tender. I'm just going to cut a piece off here, just kind of show you just how tender it is. It's fall apart. I'm going to show you there just what it looks like in the camera. So it's got a nice crust on it. It's cooked plenty all the way through. A lot of the fat's rendered off, but it's got that nice crust on there. Making up some yellow rice and peas and black beans to go with it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. Oh, it's still pretty hot. Mm. It's definitely nice and tender and moist. I'm going to take one Not more dried. bite out at all. But you guys should try this. It works yeah. really great. Um, I think the bacon fat was um, kind of a bust. It's uh, really pork butt doesn't need any kind of you know injected fat into it. It's got plenty of marble fat in it. So I don't really taste any of the bacon. I'll put a comment I'll let down you know below after we eat this up for dinner. But speaking of which, I got to go finish making dinner. But follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. <laughs>